I'm listening to our producer in my ear, Jeremy Levin, telling me that uh, Craig Sager had a chance to talk to Greg Popovich and LaMarcus Aldridge. For two decades, the San Antonio Spurs have been the franchise to which others aspire. 45 wins already at this All-Star break. Congratulations to Greg Popovich coaching the West, but not really a break for you. But uh, how proud are you of what you guys have accomplished this year? Well, so far it's uh, been a pretty good season, but as we all know, uh, there's a long way to go and there will be a whole lot of people fighting for it. You still have the big three, perennial All-Stars, Tim Duncan, Tony Parker, and Mano Ginobili. But your two All-Stars this year, Marcus Aldridge and Kawhi Leonard. How have you been able to have this transition? I've just been trying to memorize their names. <laughs> <laughs> Who are those guys? You know, it's, uh, it's pretty incredible uh, to see the new generation coming in. And LaMarcus and Kawhi are uh, exactly that. You know, the, the torch is being passed, you know, to those guys. And they've handled it very well. LaMarcus, this is your fifth All-Star game, but the first time representing the Spurs. What does that mean to you? Uh, you know, it means a lot to me. You know, we, you know, play as a, you know, a, a team, a, a unit, and you know, I think my, you know, my play hasn't been, you know, as as it was last year. But you know, to be here, it, it's awesome. You control the minutes. You don't control the shots, but you control the minutes. Do you give Kobe enough minutes to be the MVP this year? He's going to play as long as he wants to play. This is this is his dance party. All right. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Back to you guys. Another way to refer to the All-Star yeah. Game, the Kobe Bryant dance party. Yeah. That's interesting, though, yeah. that, that he's here with someone other named than Duncan, Ginobili, or Parker. It's for the first time ever. For the first time ever. Ever. That he's not he's not here with those guys. Yeah, but that just shows you what amazing organization, organization they, they have. Right, exactly. Because he said two decades. They're the New England Patriots of the NBA. Like There have been other teams that had little windows. But these guys have been legit contenders to win the world championship every, year. every single year for two decades. They're the best organization in the NBA. And the thing I like about it, other than LaMarcus, all their players are homegrown. I mean, and, you know, and Ginobili and Parker, I think Parker went late in the well, first. Well, pretty, yeah, pretty much homegrown. A guy like Boris Diaz, not, you know, they Yeah, but, but I'm talking about, uh, we're talking about the guys who are going to be in the Hall of Fame. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 you look at a guy like Parker who went late in the first round. I think you nobody went in the second round. They must have an, an amazing scouting staff. And then to move up and get Kawhi Leonard, because nobody had Kawhi Leonard going in the lottery yeah. uh, b before the draft except the Spurs. And they moved up to get him. Just amazing. And what they've done with Becky Hammond, making her the first NBA as a female coach. My girl in uh, Sacramento, uh, Nancy Lieberman. I mean, I don't know why she took that job. Uh, but uh, what they've done in, in, uh, in San Antonio is just amazing.